I really love watching films. It gives me great pleasure to fully immerse myself in a different world for a few hours. And to be honest, I will watch a whole variety of different things. One of my favourite films is the film Groundhog Day, which actually turns 30 this year. It's the story of a cynical, depressed weatherman who is trapped in a never-ending cycle of the same day. It has so captured the imagination that the phrase Groundhog Day has passed into our language and is routinely used to describe all sorts of things that are repetitious. So, whenever we feel something is stuck in a rut, repeating itself and unable to change, we might refer to it as Groundhog Politics, or a Groundhog Relationship, or maybe even a Groundhog Lesson, if we get to thinking it's the same old behaviour repeated again and again. We could even talk about Groundhog Church. It's true that the worship of the church is repetitious. Christians say the same prayers said for centuries. We read the same scriptures, and in many cases we sing the same songs, or this hopefully changes a bit with each generation. So, going to church can be described as a groundhog service. But, to use the groundhog phrase negatively, to describe something endlessly going round and round and not changing, is actually to misunderstand the original film. Yes, the lead character experiences an endless cycle of Groundhog Days. And yes, it does begin as one of the worst days of his life. He's trapped in a blizzard in a small town. He can't wait to leave. He's in a job where he finds no satisfaction. And he's in a life that is starved of meaning, friendship or relationship. However, it becomes, at the end of the film, the best day of his life. But what's important is that it is exactly the same day. That's the point of the film. What the lead character learns is to inhabit the same day differently. He learns that he is unable to change what happens around him, but he can change how he responds to it and the kind of person that he chooses to be. And it's when he becomes the best version of himself that the calendar finally clicks on to February the 3rd. Worship works in a similar way for Christians. They believe that God in Jesus can show us the best version of our humanity through prayer, through the Bible, through being together again and again. We can be taught how to respond well to life and to inhabit this world in the best way possible. By saying sorry, we learn how to apologise. We speak of being thankful and learn how to give thanks. We ask for God's blessing and then eventually we learn how to be a blessing to others. By inhabiting this life well, we're being made ready for heaven. Patterns of repeat help us to focus and see the same old things in a new way, maybe even a radical way. That's true of the film Groundhog Day. And it's also true of our lives. Bless you all.